All right, so um, let's let's dig in here in logic. It's kind of we're going to go through kind of the same process that we did in Studio One when it comes to doing this, but it's a it's a little bit simpler and a little bit quicker to do this inside of Logic than it is in Studio One. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to get the snare. We got the same drums, same exact drums we used inside of the Studio One uh, section, uh, but uh, we're going to do this in uh, Logic uh, this way or what have you, the same set. So uh, what you're going to do is. Uh, we're going to use strip silence inside of Logic, and you can activate strip silence in Logic by hitting uh, Control, um, not the command, but Control X. And Control X will bring up this dialog uh, right here, and you know it'll. You can play again with your threshold, just like you would, um, just like you would inside of um, Studio One or in. Pro Tools for I mean, if you're doing slip strip silence. And as you can see, as I bring this number up, it starts to recognize all of the transients. As I bring this threshold down, you start to see it isolate more of the louder transients. So we want to get it down to where we can see those individual snare hits lined up right there. And we're just going to hit OK. Boom. All right. So now, as you can see, I have isolated all of my snare hits in this song just by clicking a couple of buttons. So again, we'll do just like we did. We'll just take this section. It's got all of those other ones. We'll just take this one section right here and we'll just right click uh, on a region and we'll just click bounce in place. You know, and it bounces. So this is going to be the track that I'm going to trigger from. And then what you're going to do is there's another thing in logic that you might not even know about. You hit control D, not command, control D, and it brings up what they call drum replacement slash doubling inside of logic. Brings up this this dialog box and it gives you all of these different options on how you can, you know, access or do whatever. So I'll just choose snare, of course. Uh, it's going to pull up a snare, you know, here, but we'll just do that. You got all your threshold and your attack time, trigger note, blah, blah, blah. We can change the trigger note. I'm going to change it to C3. Let's bring it up here. Let's change the trigger note to C, uh, C3, you know, just so that. And boom, now I have a MIDI track down here that has all of my snare hits lined up, right? So here in the sampler, I'm just going to get rid of this because it, it adds in a drum. It actually adds in a snare from, um, you know, a kit in Logic, but we don't want that. I'm just going to get rid of that and I'm going to open up Quick Sampler, right? So Quick Sampler pulls up and let's bring in my folder with my samples. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do Nashville snare. This is inside of the pack. Got all of the snares, all of the wave files. We're going to grab the Na Nashville share, snare one shot, drag it in, and now that's in there. Um, and now let's see what we have in terms of triggering. Now we'll do the same thing. We'll double this. We'll just duplicate this track uh, totally. Uh, copy that and then paste it down here. And we'll do the exact same thing we did before. Let's just grab the room only though. Open up quick sampler on this track. And let's drag in the room only. And so now we've got that in there. Uh, let's adjust that and see what that sounds like.
So world of difference and being able to add it in and you didn't have to get trigger. You don't have to like have that. This is how you can use those one shots right inside of logic uh, without having to, you know, go and get trigger and spend all that stuff like that for those who don't want want to do it that way. Uh, but you can hear a world of difference. Let me play the samples again without let me play the drum, drums again without the samples on there. And then here they are with the samples added in. So just that simple, just that easy, you can replace or layer what we love to do. I don't like to replace, layer your drums inside of Logic Pro.